You cannot call a community garden if it doesn't bring people together. It's not just about plants. Most gardens will be restricted. You can't take uh, without permission. But over here, I'm making something different. Help yourselves. Just don't kill the plants. Don't steal them. <laughs> and I will replenish them. I was approached by this elderly lady and she asked whether I would be willing to start a, a garden for the residents. And I thought about it together with my wife and said, yeah, why not? You know, it's about time as we get older, we want to give back to the community. The gardens need to be something exciting, something that draws people in. And we had to use recycled materials because we didn't have the funds. At the start, there was a lot of enthusiasm. Many people came. I'm staying at Dover for the last 26 years. Well, I love the garden, you see, voluntarily to clean and water the plant. Huh? At the peak, we were having harvest about once a month. We were also winning awards from the first time we entered the competition. After we've established this garden, I handed it over to some of my team members. There were some relationship strains that affected the garden. No one was watering it, but the plants were dying. This is a heavy weight on my shoulder and there's not enough manpower. So what, what can I do? What should I do? There were times I was thinking, yeah, maybe I should give up. My wife suggested your community garden ought to be able to provide something for the community. Why don't you change half of it to an open garden where people can come and take whatever you grow? So the open garden was then born and then we subsequently put up a sign which says Everything here is for free. Help yourselves, but just take what you need and not more than that. I would not want to put fences that is locked. The whole concept of community living should be one that is open to everyone, to anyone.